A Pittsburgh couple's wedding day turned incredibly scary when the groom, all dressed in his suit and ready to go, started feeling breathless. He thought it was just nerves at first until he realized he was having a heart attack. But he didn't let that stop him. He said that he was getting married one way or another, no matter what. 68-year-old Bob Adams was just minutes from getting married when he realized he was having that heart attack. He took a nitro pill and an ambulance was called and they insisted he head to the ER. He insisted the ceremony continue there. Preacher come in and the thing I said to him was, hey, we're, doing, we're not doing our last rites, we're doing a marriage. Bob, you repeat, I, I take you married. I take you married. Bob's now wife, Mary Pizzuto, was, as EMTs described her, a nervous wreck. She's actually had five heart attacks herself. The Pittsburgh Tribune Review reports the pair met more than 30 years ago and recently reconnected through Facebook. 68-year-old Pizzuto helped Adams after his second wife died from cancer. And she says that where they got married doesn't matter, hospital or otherwise, because marriage is for better or for worse. Now their story is making national headlines, and a writer for Jezebel agrees with Pizzuto, hey, as long as you are married at the end of the day, the wedding is technically a success. Plus, and this is our favorite part, the hospital staff pitched in on decorations. They strung specimen cups together. Adams is now recovering and should be released soon. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.